brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Dr. Larry Lazama has been the medical director at the Guam Memorial Hospital for half a decade. It would be disappointing, really, for a lot of us here. And it, you know, it breaks, it breaks our hearts when we continue to basically operate given the resource limitations we have. Lazama said he supports Bill 338, introduced by Governor Eddie Bazi Calvo, which he said is a culmination of half a year of work between the hospital management advisory team and hospital staff. The bill proposes $160 million in refinanced and new bond debt, as well as $40 million in increased taxes, in order to provide a dedicated funding source to pay off the $20 million in overdue vendor payables and address chronic operating losses at GMH. Two separate bills have also been introduced by Senator Dennis Rodriguez with similar intentions to help GMH, although Lazama said hospital staff did not contribute to these bills. Bill 340 would refinance government bonds to pay off vendor payables, while Bill 341 would bring hospital rates and fees up to at least Medicare rates. But according to GMH Chief Financial Officer Benita Menglotnya, these bills are not enough and provide a band-aid approach when the hospital needs long-term sustainability. And I see it day in and day out and, and it's just heartbreaking to, to see the daily struggles of the nurses, the doctors, the, you know, everybody in the hospital and, and that's why we're all fighting for this because we look at this plan as, as the way to transform and move GMH forward. She said despite criticism, GMH has made financial progress. A recent financial audit shows GMH has increased its billables by $15 million in 2015. And we collected $4 million more. Strategies offered by HMAT have also saved GMH an estimated $3 to $5 million, while coding error rates in 2015 were less than 1%. Medical Health Records Administrator Michael Clemmy. In my opinion, from listening to the political sides of it, this is this has become more of a political issue than an issue of working together as a community. William Kando is a hospital's chief planner and said providing adequate resources to GMH is a matter of safety. Take for example the hospital's Z-Wing. We vacated uh, roughly 50 people out of this building to get them out of harm's way. The ceiling, portions of the ceiling on the second floor were falling down. Staff were moved to the cafeteria and the old dialysis outpatient center, which means there's less clinical space available for patients. We've worked with the governor's uh, HMAT team uh, very closely, and uh, we, we believe that collectively we've, we've developed a very good uh, uh, plan that we can move forward to make this happen. The bills are under consideration by the Guam legislature. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.